Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Here we have a lesson with a grade 4 class using the turtle activity in two logo of Purple Mash. I hope that you'll enjoy it. If you look at the first activity, it says, can you move the turtle forward five steps? So you go ahead, move the turtle forward five steps. Excellent. Very easily done. And play your code five steps. Next challenge. Now we're going to move the turtle forward to, then we're going to do a second step of turning clockwise, one quarter turn, and then we're going to move forward three. So there are three steps. So drag the turtle in. That's step one. Drag another turtle in to make step two. And drag another one in for step three. Excellent. Right, at step one, what do we got to do? Move turtle forward two. Excellent. Step two, turn clockwise. Good. And then one quarter turn, and now you'll be moving forward. How far will you be moving forward? Brilliant, Warren. Three steps. And Warren, I think you've got everything there. Brilliant. Marvelous work, Warren. Next challenge. You're just breezing through this. So, Warren, this one's when you can make the turtle turn when the turtle's clicked. So, remember, we're going to make a block called the when turtle clicked block. Good. When turtle clicked block, turn. Yeah, turn. Excellent. And I think you've got it. When clicking on the turtle with the when clicking turtle block. Go to the next challenge. Remember, Warren, here it says make the turtle controllable. Controllable means it can move using the arrow keys. So we're using keyboard, the arrow keys on your keyboard. So when clicking and when clicking on the up arrow, use the up arrow. Okay, now what do you want the turtle to do when you go with the up arrow? What would be the most appropriate with the up arrow? Excellent. Okay, it, quite likely the turtle would want to go forward with the up arrow. So play your code, let's test it. Up arrow on your keyboard, brilliant. Now we're going to bring the down arrow and then the left arrow and the right arrow of your keyboard as well. So bring in those other arrows in. Stop the code and bring in the up arrow, the down arrow and the left arrow and the right arrow. Right, Warren, excellent. You brought in four different arrow keys, left, right, up and down. And now you're just going to bring in the relevant code. Good work. And I think backward turn. That looks very good. Test your code to see if it's going to work. With the arrow keys on your keyboard. Excellent. Purple mash has indicated full mark. So go to next challenge. I don't think you needed me to help you, but you wanted to make a video. That's brilliant. Always so wonderfully talented, Warren. I pre And let's go to the last. It says the turtle misses the broccoli. Can you fix it so it hits the broccoli? I'm busy doing it on YouTube and you're making a noise. Imagine what the world's going to... Good, goodness me, that's cool. They always say they're the best, but they're not the best. Because you hear that noise. Um, Warren, good work. I'm going to hit the pause button and I'm going to go on that button over there to go to line one, to replay, to restart. Now, line one is, let's play line one. Go on this step, go on this step through the code to line two. So press the stepping, step through line one. What? Okay, now we, excellent Warren, press on here. Step uh, through the first block of code. Can you see it should go not there, but possibly to there? So let's play it again. So there's a mistake here. Let's just show you why. If I play the code again, I go line one, a quarter turn. I make it a bit bigger so I can see the screen. 
Right, good. If I go over here, two co uh, press this, stepping through the code. Excellent. And then our turtle turns correctly. Now I'll go to the next line. So press on this, this, step through the next block. And you'll see as it moves forward, one, two. Now you can see he needs to go to three. He needs to go there. So change that second line so we're getting the logic right. So let's play our code again. Go step through your code. Good. And now it turns, two quarter turns. Now press the, the stepping through the code to go to the next block. And we're going to go one, two, three. Perfect. And it's one quarter turn. And look at this, Warren. From there, oh, it's per it says perfect. You got it right. Brilliant work, Warren. It says you've got a, uh, everything correct. Congratulations to you on a perfect bit of work. Another one of those amazing things that you've done at our school. Yep, go over there. Save and exit. And we won't hand it in, but just go continue work. So next time you come to my class, you can just finish it off with the last bit. But that means you've saved everything. It says when key pressed. So you need to choose up arrow, down arrow. Go down arrow. You can't have two of the same. So it must be a down arrow. Good. And this one says up arrow. And this is clicking on the turtle. Now you may need to bring some code in here. So stop the code, click on the stop button, and bring in some of these bits of code in there. So here you got when down arrow key block. When down arrow pressed key block. So bring the turtle over here, bring this turtle into there. Okay, so you got when turtle click block, something must happen. Anything, you can change the image. Good. Now, remember, you need to bring bits of code in to this part and that part. No, no, don't play it yet. Okay, you want to do the click event. But bring in some code into this, this block over here, this block that I'm moving around. You can't have an open space like that. There needs to be some sort of code in the when down arrow key pressed block and also in the when up arrow key pressed block. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, now when you press four quarter turns, that means it's just moving to where it originally would be. Let's test it to show you. Press the play key. Now watch when you press the up arrow key. Press the up arrow key on your keyboard. Now look, it's going back to its original position. So that's a pretty pointless bit of code. By pressing the, turning at four quarter turns, it would be just going back to where it was in the first place. So change it. Yes. Press the up arrow key. Alright, now remember part of the game is to get to the food. This turtle must get to the food. So that's the aim of the game. So add in your code. But remember the whole ultimate aim is for the turtle to get to food. In design mode you can see that. Yeah, that would be, you've got a down arrow and an up arrow key. You need to bring in some code into the left arrow key block. So bring in some code into there. You can, you can bring that in. Oh, okay, so that's quite clever. Okay, so you're going to make the a turn. Why would you make a turn that way? That's quite a good one because three turns, remember, you can always... Press this three should be a one because then you can just press th your key three times. Now let's see if you can play the game. Try and move your turtle to get to the food. Come on, you've got to get to the food. Look over here, it says error, incomplete command. You must choose what to do with the background. So you need to bring in some something needs to be in the background code. Fonts are the lettering that goes in here. I don't think there's any lettering, so change that. You can't set the font. There is no nothing typed in there. Good, that'll work. All right. Okay, let's test it. Press the left arrow key. Good. And then you can see it's working. You've got to try get to the food. Show me that you can get to the food. 
Okay, get to the food. That's the point of the game. It's like any game. You've got to try get to some destination. You've got to try get to some destination. So you must try get your turtle to the food. That's how you win the game. Don't do it in the code. You must be able to play the game to get to the food. So you don't, the game is not to try get it in code, but the aim is to try get it by moving the, the keys. So look, if I go up arrow, then it's going to be quarter turn. So if I go up arrow, it's going that way. Up arrow, up arrow. How do you make the turtle get to here? Come on, see, how are you going to get the turtle to get to there? Look over here, you got, when you click on the turtle, you had him moving forward. Look at up arrow, he's going to quarter turn. There's one quarter turn. Another quarter turn. Another quarter turn, but if I click on him, he's going to go six. So if I click, he's going six. So the aim is to try get to the food. So you must make this code work that you can somehow get to the food. Okay, I'm going to go back and try to fix that code up.